Hi friends, uh, I'm going to do a quick sketch um, and uh, how we use it in class and how you could, if you're a student, use it. So if you go to, uh, if you skirt, search out sketch, just sketch, um, it's going to take you to Evernote. Uh, this is because Evernote and Sketch uh, work together. Um, so this is going to be the start site from it. It'll ask you if you want to download from Mac. And when you download it, it'll pop up in your launch pad. And from your launch pad, it uh, looks like this. It's the little arrow. So I've already got one open. So with Sketch, what it allows you to do is you can take a screen snap. It's called a shot sometimes too. Um, if you are working on a project and you're afraid that you can't save it properly, you can do a full screen snap. Um, you can use the camera, which will allow you to use the built-in webcam for it. You can open up an image from a PDF. You can actually start a blank sketch, which just gives you a white page to look at. Uh, and then you, this open a one by something sketch document will allow you to open multiple um, sketch images at once and you can compare and contrast them. And so that would be easy if you were going to do then a screenshot of the whole thing, the project you're working on. So I'm just going to take, my thing is saving. It's uploading. This is mildly frustrating. Come on, computer. Uh, so I'm going to go to, and you just drag it across, and it'll let you snap a picture. It'll ask you if you want to cancel it or capture it. Uh, I'm going to pretend like I don't like the way that this is spaced out, so I'm going to say, no, I, I don't want that. And then you come back to the Sketch app, do screen snap, and I'm going to say, I just want to pull the image piece because I want to write on it. Then you do capture. It'll take you back to the app. It opens up the window for you. Um, I'm already logged into Evernote, that's why my name is up here at the top, uh, because these will immediately sync to your Evernote account, so then you can use them or embed them into a note. So the parts of this Sketch application that are kind of neat, uh, it allows you to add arrows, if it'll work, because the computer is trying to save the previous video. So I'm going to add an arrow, I don't want to use white because uh, it won't pop. So I'm going to do a pink so it'll match my little pink um, sketch arrow. And then I'm going to adjust it because I don't want it super big. So then I'm going to put my arrow in. And then once you draw your arrow, you can move it around. So I'm going to say I want to highlight the fact that Sketch and Evernote can be used in the cloud. So then I'm going to come in here and I'm going to add some text. Usually it doesn't take this long. But when you're downloading a video and trying to record a video, it's usually the problem you get. Hmm. There we go. So I want to add some words to it. So I'm going to come over here and the letter will show up and I'm going to say adds straight to the cloud. Again, once you type, you can move the letters around. Add the little blue circle here <clears throat> will allow you to make it bigger. Uh, the things you can do if you don't like something, you can actually kind of erase it. So you pick the marker color um, and use the white, and it'll allow you to draw over it. So if I don't want this picture showing up, you can come in and draw. It takes it a minute to show up. If you are unsure about it, you make sure that it's got the little cross arrows on it. You click it, and then you hit the delete button, and it'll take it away from you. Uh, you can write on there. So I'm going to pick a different color. Pick a green. Right high. If you're working on the uh, mobile app, uh, especially on an iPad, and you get a stylus, uh, writing on it with a stylus is much easier than writing on it with a cursor and a mouse on a computer. Um, a newer feature that they've added that's kind of neat is you can add these uh, exclamation bubbles. So you can put it in there and then, like this one is like a, an exclamation. There's a question mark and a heart face. So like if you find something that you absolutely love it, put that in there. There's a check mark and then there's a, this X one. I usually use that when it's something I don't care for. So you click on the <clears throat> exclamation mark and then I'm going to click this letter and it'll allow me to add some text. So I'm going to say this is really neat. And then, love the edit factor. So you can leave these open. 
Uh, if you wanted to be able to send it with everything on there, you can leave it open or you can click it and it'll go away. So it's still there, uh, but it's not, oh, adding a bunch of them. Um, so if you want to leave it open, this is especially good for annotation if you need to be able to annotate reading or pictures. Uh, there's a pixelation one here. Um, I use this when I'm using a picture that I'm uploading to the web for our blog or if it's something that um, you don't want people to be able to see behind it. So if I wanted people to guess what's there or... See. Let me go search a math question. I can't spell. So math questions and then image because I just want the picture of it. I really can't spell. I'm sorry. Okay, so my sketch question for math. I'm going to do my screenshot. And on my pixel, I'm going to pixel out one of the measurements. <clears throat> and then I'm going to come add a question right on top of it. So this would be something that I would send to the kids as an exit ticket. Uh, you can ghost out a myriad of things um, if you didn't want part of an angle shown, if you wanted the kids to be able to find um, the area or you wanted them to guess what the image was, you can use that pixelation. Um, the other thing that is kind of neat is it saves them all. So even if it's one that you really didn't care for, it's still there. So here's one that I did uh, as an exit ticket out a couple weeks ago. So they weren't doing the ones with the X's on it, but then they had to name the phases that were there. It allows you to take um, pictures of things that are in the room, especially like the whiteboards, if you have notes on there, if you're a student, and you can then annotate on top of that to give yourself some um, extra notes. So here's one that I did from a screenshot to help the kids do uh, Google+. Plus. So there's, there's a lot of different applications to it. Um, Go to some of the first ones that we did. So they had to put together a book last year uh, and they got stuck. The students got stuck on what to do because there were so many pieces to it. So I took a screenshot like with my camera on my iPhone and then added these things here and then added the questions underneath. So they were able to see the pieces to it. Um, the TWU trip that we take every year, I was able to add the bits, like this is the library, and you can color coordinate them, so like Hubbard Hall and the Arrow are both the same color, Stoddard Hall and the Arrow are the same color. Um, here's one that's got pixelated faces. So I pixelated some of the kids' faces so that it's not quite so easy to tell who they are. They know who they are. Uh, this is our string and bead um, science club. They made a they were trying to talk about the position of the different planets, and so we labeled them out. They had to come in. This is actually a student one. They came in and labeled the different planets along. So, uh, like I said, it, it links straight to uh, your Evernote account. So if I close this and come back to my Evernote, and then there should be a button under your notes. Up oh, here it is, sketch. So these are all the sketch images that I've done. Here's the two that I just finished uh, in this video. So they're there. Um, and then it's it won't label them, but it'll give you a time frame. And then you can come in there and label them from the Evernote access. So I hope that helps. Uh, kids can share it. There's a button here that says share. Come on, wake up. 
Um, so they can share a copy, a UI, or URL. They can email it to you if you have a Twitter account for your class. Uh, it'll save it straight to their Evernote account if they're signed in. If they're not, then they'll have to create an account or share it through um, a link or uh, Twitter. So I hope that helps. Um, if you have any questions, please give me an email. It's carterc at lisd.net, or you can check us out on Twitter at room161chaos. Thanks.